Tropical Cyclone Mona. Central pressure 985 millibars was located near 13 decibel 6 degrees south, 175 decibel 6 degrees east. And it's based on Himawari 8 imagery and service reports. Mona is currently moving northwest at 5 knots. Welcome to Force 13. And we have a look at Category 2 Tropical Cyclone Mona. And here is the Fiji Meteorological Services track. The outer active rain bands from the cyclone have started affecting the northern and eastern parts of the country. As the system moves closer to Fiji, rain will become more heavier and frequent. Effects of strong winds are also expected and are increasing to damaging gale force winds later today. On the screen is a look at the Limbasa radar followed by the Nandi loop. Depending on the closeness of the system, the past land areas, gale force winds can be expected over the Asora and Manuka group. Apology for the enunciations and Venua Liu Tavern Uni and nearby smaller islands damaging winds are likely to begin uh, several hours before the cyclone centre passes overhead or nearby. Now here's a look at the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's current chart. They have it located at 13 decibel 3 degrees south, 176 decibel 1 degrees east and position is Paul based on satellite. And they have it 317 nautical miles north northwest of Suva tracking east north north east at seven knots over the last six hours. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery depicts a compact system with weak convection obscuring the low level circulation center. The initial position is based with high confidence on a high resolution Windsat 37 gigahertz microwave image which showed low level convective bands particularly on the southern half of the system wrapping into the board center. The initial intensity of 40 knots is hedged slightly higher than the VOAC current intensity of T2, 35 knots, in light of a automated VOAC estimate of T3.2, 49 knots, and a satellite consensus estimate of 50 knots. Environmental analysis shows the cyclone lies in a favourable environment with moderate vertical wind shear, 15 to 20 knots, warm sea surface temperatures, 29 to 30 Celsius, and moderate poleward outflow. The cyclone has been quasi stationary over the past 18 hours, meandering in a clockwise loop in a weak steering pattern between a near equitable ridge to the northeast, subtropical ridge to the southwest. However, based on the most recent microwave imagery, it shows that it has begun to turn to the northeast, then turn east, then turning southeast within 24 hours turning south within 36 hours. As the near equitable bridge becomes a primary steering mechanism by uh, 48 hours, 
the sister will begin accelerating on a south westerly track passing over Viti Luvu as the steering ridge to the south takes over as the primary steering mechanism Tropical Cyclone 09P or Mona is forecast to intensify steady or steadily over the 36 hours under favourable environmental conditions of decreasing vertical wind shear, pole and outflow, warm sea surface temperatures and peaking at 65 knots by the 36 hour mark and shortly we have a look at the NOAA floaters Model guidance is in moderate agreement with the bulk of the consensus members indicating the turn to the south then southwest towards New Caledonia with some significant differences in along track speed and the timing of the turn. Repeating. With the bulk of the consensus members indicating the turn to the south, then the southwest towards New Caledonia, with some significant differences in along track speed, the timing of the turn, and a couple of trackers remain the far eastern outliners, turning the system southward, well east of Fiji. And due to the overall high uncertainty in the model data, there's no confidence in the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's forecast track. Now we have a look at the various tracks, CPS track guidance on the tropical cyclone. And what is she going to do? Is she going to track across into the cold sea? They cycle track guidance. They cycle intensity of guidance. And the majority of them have it as a tropical storm category one on the AU scale but it's category 2 now the Fiji's current service chart and it clearly shows the two cyclones upper level divergence isn't as healthy as what I've seen when covering other tropical systems it's only around 30 knots but that's mainly for a penny and unfortunately the information which is currently uh, on the screen isn't available for the uh, southeastern region and the 850 millibar vorticity and you can clearly see uh, penny cat 1 and mainly currently cat 2 and tropical tidbits, a couple of uh, tracks, but the consensus seems to be bringing it over Venue R2, New Caledonia region, and probably a weak tropical low into the uh, Cold Sea. When viewing non official weather sources, caution needs to be applied. The picture does change considerably. Now we have a look at the Pivotal Weather website, it's a GFS precipitation model. The scale is at the bottom of the screen and what I look for is the area in yellow through to dark brown. Uh, 
it looks like it's uh, the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand, far north tropical uh, North Queensland, and total precipitable water. And you can clearly see the uh, systems currently on the radar. No Mona, a penny. You can follow Force 13's outlets. The website, force13.com. Our YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash force13. On Facebook, under the same name, force13. And our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.